Now, the Integrity uh, primary vanadium producer, Bushveld uh, Minerals, recently announced its uh, second quarter operation update for its 84% owned energy subsidiary, uh, Bushveld Energy Limited. The company, an industrial development corporation, uh, received delivery of its first uh, vanadium uh, redox floor battery from uh, Uni Energy Technologies in South Africa. Joining us now to give us a sense of uh, the delivery and other things is the CEO of uh, Bushveld uh, Minerals. Uh, many thanks for making time to speak to us. Just to uh, give us a sense of what this actually means. Uh, I might sit here and pretend to know what this battery contains, <laughs> but I, I wasn't that good at chemistry. So just walk us through the techn uh, technicalities here. Sure. So and try not to embarrass me. The, <laughs> <laughs> the battery, it's a vanadium-based battery, um, and um, it's, it's, it's main... Uh, characteristics. It's used for uh, long duration, large capacity energy storage. Uh, every grid anywhere in the world uh, does need and does use energy storage in some form. The oldest form of energy storage you know of is the pumped hydro, uh, which is essentially as old as, you know, decades. What we, what we do with vanadium batteries, however, is we're introducing a, a scalable, a large scale storage system, but which is also uh, can be deployed anywhere. Right, so um, in the case of uh, a utility, it can be de de deployed at a, uh, at a substation. Um, it can be deployed pretty much, you know, uh, wherever wherever you're supplying electricity to. Uh, you speak about energy storage, sorry, Arnold, yeah. but you speak about energy storage, and I want to speak to this in relation to ESCOM. How does this impact on South Africa's energy supply, given the fact that we've seen um, shortages of power supplies in various parts of the country? So there are a few things I'll mention about, about ESCOM. The first one is that 70% uh, of South Africa's energy generation is all concentrated within about 150 kilometer mm -hmm. radius. Now, South Africa is a large country. You know, end to end, you're talking more than 4,000 kilometers. So you've got large transmission distances. And if you're going to reach every part, right, you're talking about large transmission exp uh, expenditure. Now, ESCOM is on record for saying that energy storage is an important part of its energy plants, uh, not only because of the long transmission lines, but also you know that South Africa is a, a very uh, aggressive adopter of renewable energy, right? Solar, wind. Now we all know that solar and wind uh, energy is not generated consistently throughout the day. At night you don't have any PV solar being generated, energy being generated. So the ability to store that and deploy it into the grid when you need it um, is, 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 is very useful to a utility like ESCOM. Fortune, I'm, I'm very uh, happy that, uh, well, uh, I might have lied. I did uh, no, do well bit. on a few <laughs> tests uh, for my physics. Uh, first of all, thermodynamics uh, and uh, energy cannot be stored nor destroyed. But uh, the most important thing here that you're using is not saying electricity, but saying energy mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the storage. Yes. And this brings me to uh, the transmission bit. Uh, many of the guys that you actually talk to in, in your kind of uh, work tell you that integrating the grid to uh, other forms of generation as is can be a trick. Uh, are you seeing this coming into play here? Yes, yeah, certainly. And, and with renewable particularly, uh, it's, it's very intermittent, right? The sun, the sun doesn't always shine consistently. All the wind blows at the same rate. So when you're feeding in power from renewable sources, it can be quite unstable, right? So having a buffer of, of, of battery systems that allow you to smooth the mm. inflow and the, the feed of electricity into the grid is, but is, is, is useful, especially when the proportion of energy generation uh, from renewable uh, sources grows. Um, so that's, that's one particular area where you know, it's incredibly useful. But there are many other uses for energy storage. I talked about long transmission distances. You lose power as you transmit power over long distances. Of course, you right. have to step up and step it down mm -hmm. again. You can't exactly. Yeah. So, so, but here's the thing, right? We, we have what we call base load generation. And then you've got peaking periods in the morning and in the evening when mm -hmm. the demand is very high. And typically, you've got these peaking plants which generate power quite expensively. Now, when you transmit power over, you know, during off-peak or during peak periods, you're still losing a certain amount of power. Ideally, you'd want to be losing cheaper power which you generate during off-peak, mm. so what do you do? Transmit that power as much as you can during off-peak, store it closer to where it's needed. So I'll give you an example, Mpumalanga versus Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And then during peak periods when you need to supplement your, 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 your energy requirements, you, you, know, you deploy that power from, from, from your battery systems. That's just one case in point. 
But there, there are many others we can talk about. Uh, you know, these 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 systems are uh, absolutely important, and, and I'm glad to say that ESCOM recognizes that, and utilities the world over increasingly recognize the importance of energy storage. What about, um, and I think I want to just bring it back to a basic level here in terms of how it would affect people who perhaps work within this area, um, the skills development in this area. Uh, talk us through that a little bit. Yeah, it's, a, it's an industry that's growing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pleased that our partnership with Industrial Development Corporation particularly uh, recognized energy storage as an industry to develop. And there's a number of reasons why you want to do that, but chief of which is the fact that, you know, particularly when we're talking vanadium flow batteries, we produce a lot of vanadium in this country. We have a lot of vanadium resources, and we are very well positioned to be a global leader in that space. Let's talk a little bit about um, some news flow that we've heard that there is an, uh, some prospects for uh, Bushfall to be listing on the JSE. Is that a prospect for you? Yeah, we, we have mentioned that we are interested in that. The Bushveld story is quintessentially a South African story. Mm -hmm. The resource base is here. Uh, the operations processing infrastructure we have is here. And pretty much most of our growth in terms of production and beneficiating the vanadium is happening here. What we think is that you know, this, is a, this is a really uh, good advert uh, for, for South Africa, and not in, in terms of quality resources, mined, processed, you know, to the in, in to the furthest extent possible. And I can't think of any deeper beneficiation story than, than, than what we're talking about. So to expose the South African capital markets to this story, we think is a fantastic opportunity. Mm. 